एज वी नो दे आर टू मेजर कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ एनी ग्राफ क्यूएल एप्लीकेशन फर्स्ट वन इज टाइप डेफिनेशन एंड सेकेंड वन इज रिजोल्वर्स इन टाइप डेफिनेशन वी डिफाइन द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ ओवर टाइप्स ओवर इनपुट टाइप ओवर आउटपुट टाइप एंड द टाइप ऑफ आर क्यू एंड क्यूरी एंड म्यूटेशन आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड माई टाइप डेफिनेशन इन माई स्कीमा फोल्डर आई हैव चेंजेस माई टाइप डेफिनेशन टू मेक इट लिटल बिट मोर ईजियर This is my recipe type, and this is my uh, query type that has recipe and uh, recipe that return the single recipe and get recipes that return an array of recipe, and the mutation uh, where I can uh, update, uh, delete, or create a new recipe. In my user schema, I have defined the input type for sign up and uh, login, and the queries for get users and get user by ID. After that, I have created the types for mutations. Uh, that is my login and sign up. Now it's time for write over resolvers. Uh, in our resolvers functions, we will uh, create the uh, actual definitions of these types. Uh, we need to pass all our resolvers in an array uh, to the parameter resolvers. I have created separate file for resolvers of recipe and users. and imported both of the files in a separate file uh, called index.resolvers here and pass uh, this array to the resolvers parameter so this is my resolver uh, folder first uh, we will look into uh, user resolvers all the resolver functions whether they are mutations or whether they are uh, queries take four arguments the first one is parent second one is arguments third one is context and the fourth one is information so the uh, parent arguments contain the result returned from the resolver on parent field second one the arguments are the arguments that are passed in the query context is the object shared by our resolvers this object is shared by our resolvers and third one is the information that contains information about the execution of state of query whether it is completed or in pending state here we needs only the second argument that is our arguments uh, i am destructuring by args object like this and getting the total variable that is my total number of users from the arguments and simply queuing my user table to return me total number of arguments and return all the the array of all the users so this is my first query in my second query i am taking the id of user from the client and checking if the user with id exist or not if it exist then i am returning the user to the client so these are two queries for my user for mutation part i need to write these two mutations first one is login that take login input and second one is uh, sign up that uh, takes sign up input and both of these return a user with authentication token that is our jwt token this is the type definition of uh, user with token so this mutation uh, similar to the query takes four arg four arguments i am destructuring the args object and uh, getting the input then i am further destructuring the input object and getting the email password first name and last name that the user passed then i am calling my helper function to check if the email is already exist or not if the email is already exist then i am throwing the error that uh, the email is already registered i will discuss about this uh, custom error handling later so uh, when if the uh, user uh, email that the user passed does not exist then i need to create a new user create a new jwt token for the user and return all the information to the user uh, that contains uh, the user information that i just stored in database and the token uh, for login similar to the sign up uh, i am getting the email and password from the user 
matching the email and password to my database records if the uh, user exists then uh, i am getting the jwt token and returning the token and the user information to the uh, client if the user does not exist then i am throwing the invalid uh, email or password of the user so let's uh, jump to the recipe resolvers recipe resolver is also simple similar to the user resolver uh, firstly uh, we will write the queries related to the uh, recipe resolver that takes four four arguments and uh, that i have already explained uh, if the uh, and the recipe with or and uh, the id the user passed is already exist then i am returning all the information to the user if the recipe with the id does not exist then i am throwing the custom error that the recipe with this id does not exist similarly for get recipes i am getting an amount and returning all recipes an array of recipe to the uh, client let's check the uh, type definition of uh, uh, recipe schema so these are two types and these are five uh, mutations that i need to write uh, create recipe takes a recipe input and return that recipe after storing it to database similarly delete recipe uh, gets uh, takes accept an id from uh, client and return a recipe success recipe success is a type that contains a message that shows whether the recipe is successfully deleted or not and is success uh, a boolean variable that shows uh, if the uh, uh, recipe is successfully deleted or not similarly for edit recipe uh, increment thumbs up and increment uh, thumbs down all of these mutations are uh, same let's move back to the uh, recipe resolver now i need to write the uh, mutations for the resolver firstly i am creating a new recipe that is taking a recipe input i am destructuring it to get the name and description storing all the information in database and returning it to the user no i am uh, creating a mutation for delete recipe that is taking the input from user if the recipe does not exist i am throwing the error if the re uh, recipe already uh, exists then i am deleting the recipe similarly for edit recipe uh, increment thumbs up and increment thumbs down so let's uh, test all these uh, features i move back to my uh, apollo server uh, sandbox let's just the login user i need to pass i need to pass the email and the password if the uh, email and password are correct the uh, graphql will return me the fields that i mentioned and my jwt token if i pass the invalid email here it will throw an error that the uh, invalid email or password entered and also you can see it is returning a status code of 400 we will uh, look into the error handling later let's test another endpoint that is getting a single recipe for this i need to pass in the jwt token let's login the user again copy this token and pass it is in authorization parameter that uh, that will pass in the headers uh, it will throw an error that recipe with this id does not exist i have pasted another uh, recipe id that exists in my database and if i send the uh, request then it will return the recipe to me so in this way the resolvers work in uh, graphql thank you very much